as I mentioned it on my Twitter account at Brian Alvarez. For those of you that are subscribers to the wonderful video.f4wonline.com, our video service, got a brand new everything here tonight. Video doesn't even know what's going on. No, you said something about lights, and I was perplexed. Well, your your everything looks as horrible as always, but thank you, thank you. Here in the the main studios here, I was just sitting here thinking, well, I doubt my co-hosts are going to be here anytime soon, so I have no idea why the lights always turned on, and pointing at you mm. over there. You're mm. not there. We got cameras all over the place that are pointing at all these different places where nobody ever is. Yeah. yeah. So I thought, well, Tony's got to got to grab some stuff here today anyway, so why don't we switch everything around a little bit and we'll get two of these cameras. We got two angles for me here. We got double the lights on me. It's hotter than shit. I thought it was hot before. I didn't realize it until just now it's even hotter. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. But you know what? We got some fucking lighting. I can't wait. It is bright in here. You are going to be sparkling. Oh, man. And we moved the monitor, so now when I... Now I look where you used to be when I look at you here. It's far more natural for me. It's still very unnatural for you, Vinny, but that's that's your problem. So yeah, Thank we you. got some we got some new excitement here for all of our our video subscribers. If you're not a video subscriber, I mean it's the same shows, but you're missing out on video. Get to see all sorts of craziness here. I danced on the filthy show the other day, if I recall correctly. FTR versus Kenny Omega and Hangman Page for the tag titles. So before we get to the match, there is a pre-show video. And the the video, which is allegedly to build with this title match, it's mostly the Bucks talking about themselves. <laughs> this is an ineffective pre-show video. So they hope Hangman's happy with the decision he made to have to live with it. All right, so it's time for the match. I watched this. And, and we only have through. 44 minutes left, Vinny, just I so will, you know. I will not go move by move. I watched this with an open mind. I took in everything that was happening, which was a lot. I took in all the noise that was being made, which was a little. And when it was done, I thought to myself, this match is going to be very, very, very polarizing. If you want to judge this match... Basically, what happened was they had a plan for... If you pardon the expression, a five-star match. And they were going to go out there and do their plan for a five-star match come hell or high water. And there were matches in the show that had a lot of heat. And this wasn't one of them. But they had a plan. And they stuck to it. <laughs> and it may not have worked for the people in the building. But if you're just watching the match itself and the story being told, and the payoff for the long-term build, it was a very, very, very good plan. It just didn't work in the building. So if you want to say that they didn't have the people into it, this match went over a half hour on a show that went nearly four hours. Probably didn't need to go that long. So if you want to say that it was overkill and they needed to wrap it up and take it home half as long as it needed to be, I won't argue with you one bit. But if you're like me and enjoyed the work they were doing and didn't care that it wasn't working for the people in the building and you thought that they made good use of every minute of those 30 minutes, this match was awesome. And I don't blame you if you think I'm an idiot for that. But I thought this match was awesome. Well, these guys worked their asses off. Yes. I thought technically it was great. But I was watching it live, and watching it live in that building in front of these fans, it went too long. And I even feel that there was a spot, if I can recall here, where the FTR is working over Omega's leg. And in the middle of working over his leg, Omega rolls outside and he stands there and then FTR rolls outside and they look at him <laughs> and then it was like it was like an eternity for me because I was watching this this is like 20 minutes in sure they look at each other for a while and then Omega runs back into the ring or hops back in the ring 
Oh, that's spot. What are we talking about now? And they jumped in and they worked over his leg again. They were okay. They, okay. I was like, "What in the fuck happened right here?" Like, okay, well, well, I'll explain what happened. Please if, tell if, me. If it didn't, if it didn't work for you, that's on them. But it worked for me. So what happened was, Omega's trying to tag out, and it occurred to him maybe if I can't go through the ring, maybe I can go around the ring. So he was trying I to go. Roll, he was trying to roll outside to go around the ring. They blocked his exit on both sides. So he then he tried to split the middle and go through the ring. But they jumped in to stop him, and then they I had him cut got off. It. And went back to it. I yes, got it. I may have been a little too cute. The, I, 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 for, I, at this point, I was just I couldn't figure out what the fuck just happened right there. But yeah. I think that based on what they did, you could have done a twenty minute match, maybe twenty two minutes. You could have shaved 10 minutes off, and I feel like the match would have been as good or better. I don't feel like there was anything that necessitated 32 minutes or whatever. 22 minutes? Fine. I thought that I, it, it was too long for me. But that's I, in no universe would I ever say that this match was bad. Mm-hmm. It absolutely was not a bad match. These guys are four of the best tag team wrestlers in the world. Yes. They put... A ridiculous amount of thought into this match. Yes. And in front of a sold-out crowd in Las Vegas, they probably would have torn the house down. But that wasn't here. No. And so, to me, it started to drag. Now, the last few minutes were fucking great. I feel like they could have cut some time in the middle. But overall, because of the length in the crowd... Mm-hmm. I thought it was the third best match on the show and not the best or the second best. Yes. And that's all reasonable. And that's fine. <laughs> that's, that's all a reasonable opinion to have. I just, FTR is such a great heel tag team. They they sell like crazy. When it's their turn for the heat, they just grind guys down. They cheat like crazy. They are, they're, they're very good at cheating, so they don't get caught often. But when they do get caught, it's so one guy can take the ref as his partner is being pinned. It, it, so even even when they get caught cheating, they're still cheating assholes. It just riles up everyone. I thought Omega looked fantastic in this match. I thought Heyman looked fantastic in this match. Every like, there's no segment where you could watch like three minutes of it and say this is the bad three minutes of wrestling. It's just there was ten three minute segments of wrestling in a row. So the other thing about this is they they had a very simple story, which is, uh, well, obviously Omega and Paige have trust issues to say the least. And Paige demanded to start, hates the world. He knows Omega doesn't trust him, knows the Bucks hate him, and he hates these for FTR fuckers. He wants to start so he can prove Omega can trust him. But he also wants to beat the hell out of these FTR dudes, and he's whipping their ass, and the ref's trying to hold him back. Omega tries to hold him back. Paige almost swings at him. Now Omega's pissed again. Now, from that point, for the next 25 minutes, they were a fine team. But then, at the end... They were working over one of the FDR dudes. And Omega grabs him, and Hangman's going to do the buckshot lariat. And everyone in the world is convinced that guy's going to duck. Omega's going to get buckshotted, and then he'll get pinned. Well, that guy did duck, but Omega also ducked. So no harm, no foul. So then Paige grabs the guy, so Omega can hit the V-trigger. But that guy dodges again, and Paige doesn't duck. And Omega V-triggers Paige. And they toss Omega out of the ring. They had a pair of mind breakers. And they win him. They win him. They pin him. FTR, a new tag team champions. Like I said, I love this match. And I suspect I'm in the minority. But if you disagree, I understand why. So another match where when it was over, I thought the post-match was great. Kenny gets the table. He teases that he's going to hit Hangman. Everybody's going to expect that he hits Hangman. He throws the table down. He does not hit him. And he he doesn't, doesn't hit him, but at the same time, when Paige collapses, Omega doesn't help him. He doesn't help him. Well, yeah. obviously. I mean, clearly he's really pissed off at this guy, mm-hmm. but he's not pissed enough to hit him with the table. He's Tonight. just pissed enough to not... Which is funny, because the story of the match was there were trust issues with the hangman, and the hangman did zero to betray that trust, and it was Kenny Omega who fucked up and hit the hangman with his move. Yes. What the fuck is Kenny so mad at the hangman for? Because he well, so he storms yeah. backstage. The Bucks are trying to calm him down. He gives him the ultimatum: you either come with me or you don't. And they don't go with him, and he zooms off, and it's left open ended. And I thought it was awesome. 